trouble. Jason Leffler, the 38 car. <laughs> Thirty-four call hard impact with the inside of the wall on the backstretch there. That's Jeff Fuller in the thirty-four car. Some trouble off turn number two. There, he's already made contact with the outside wall. Here comes Je Jace, uh, Jeff Fuller to avoid hitting him right in the door. He turns his car hard left, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to spin it around. He's going to make some awfully hard contact with the inside wall. Phil couldn't hit it in a worse place. I mean, it was angled to the opening on the pit, uh, inside wall on the backstretch. Has an opening there. Hit at a bad angle, hit flat, you know, right there. Just a bad place to, 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 to do that. But what Jeff Fuller was trying to do was trying to avoid hitting Jason Leffler. You know, you're thinking it looks like there's a lot of time to make decisions here, but this is a split-second decision, you know, from Jeff Fuller to come. If you'll notice, as he comes into the picture here, he's heading right for the door for Jason Leffler, decides to make a hard left to miss contact with Jason Leffler, and went right into the inside wall, hit it, you know, at exactly the wrong spot where that, where that opening is on that flat contact. And as you know, that... that you know, that, uh, that flat part of the wall there is, um, is a bad place to do it. Guys, there's Jason Leffler right there. Watch, watch his right hand there. You see him moving his right hand. That's, that's a great thing to see right that's there. That's Jeff, Jeff Fuller right there. Yeah. The corner got trouble up in turn four. Oh, and there oh. goes Terrio hard into the wall. And yeah. that's Redick in the 19 that had the problem that kicked it all off with Terrio as he comes grinding to a halt on the front straightaway after a huge, heavy impact here on the front stretch. High in yeah. turn four, Luz just about has his truck saved and along comes Terrio. Look at that right front tire. There really nothing Austin could do and, at all. And Tyler Reddick, he, he's just fighting to regain control of his truck. I don't know, we didn't see if anything uh, maybe clipped Reddick and sent him sliding sideways. We just caught it as he was up there fighting for control of that truck. Saw him doing an amazing job hanging on to it. See Jennings down on the bottom. He went up way high. Now, we haven't seen a whole lot of people run up that high. You see the, the dirt. Here comes Austin just trying to get by on the inside. Again, Reddick's just trying to regain control after being sideways up against the outside wall. And with the problems that the 63 truck was having, Oh, it's so scary. Bernhardt, the yellow car is still in the picture, but Buddy Baker, who has a lot of sentiment, has one of the real Oh, no, we have a problem. Is going to tire. Bobby Allison with a horrible crash here on the front stretch. It has torn out a complete section of protective railing separating it. Alan Kowicki becomes involved. Debris and there's, is collecting other cars. There was a lot of debris in the front stretch. Kowicki was involved. Richard Petty, I think, is another one of the cars. Uh, lots of debris on the front stretch. Now, Bobby's car, to me, appeared to stay together quite well. He did get up into the fencing, but not into the stands. And a caller, Bobby's the out. Racetrack. There's Bobby getting out of the car. I told you that Bobby's car, though, was heavily damaged. It did stay together. The integrity of the roll cage is intact. The crowd is giving Bobby a, a very warm welcome out of that machine, but the car lived up to NASCAR standards. Larry, I think a tire blew. I think oh, I saw a tire coming apart absolutely. while he was right here in the trioval, right nearing rear. the starting line. Right rear, it begins to shred. And the car goes out of control. You're at 210 miles an hour. You can see the right rear going. You see the debris there on the left-hand side of your screen. Earnhardt avoids Bobby. The car goes backwards. The aerodynamics get underneath the car, and Allison gets up into the fence. The aerodynamics lifted the car. They're not built to go backwards. Right underneath Harold Kinder. Harold, he stayed in there. Boy, I'll tell you, talk about a trooper. Kinder is right there. He's got the yellow flag out right away. That is a veteran, competent flagman. Here comes the rest of the field down. They've decelerated to maybe 180 miles an hour, but all the debris, there's Petty, there's Kawicki spinning. Uh, there's just nowhere for many of these drivers to go because there's so much of what was left over from the initial impact on the front stretch, and there was just nowhere to go. And tires began to explode, too, as they ran over debris caused by the Allison crash. Well, it's very rare that you see that catch fencing do its job, but it sure did its job here at Talladega today. As if it hadn't been there, or if it had not been as strong as it was, Bobby Allison's car would very clearly have gone into the grandstand right below us here in the broadcast booth. There's a the tire going. Here's another angle of it, and uh, we'll just let you watch it because we've covered it well. 
Today at the Bristol Motor Speedway, there was a near tragedy in Bush Series practice. Mike Harmon hits the wall during practice in turn two, spins down the track, and is hit flush by Johnny Sauter. You can see Harmon there, totally exposed in his race car as Sauter approached. Amazingly, Harmon was uninjured. His race car devastated. Johnny Sauter's car also caught fire, but he was uninjured as well. Points. Whoa, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. After that impact is a great testament to safety of these cars and these racetracks today. If there's been any fans, if there's been anybody in our industry that has to the bottom of the track, Junior will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. Take another look at this real time. track safety they are attending to three fans in the grandstands some debris did get through that fence oh big crash in turn number two David Ruderman oh goodness six gets it's like oh, oh my gosh goodness gracious. wow like Moore said got into the six car David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. But this. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Ron Fellow is also into the wall in that. It is a magnificent chess game that is being played here. Oh, trouble. trouble. Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall. Crashing, rolling over, side over side. Oh. High coming off that corner. Now, if Riddle hit him, I don't know. He could have touched him right there because all he had to do was just get a little sideways. But it looks like the car just got a little sideways. And just uh, the cars running that close together, even if you don't touch them, the wind acts like you hit each other. And uh, all I had to do was break the car loose. And then when these cars get sideways, they're bad about doing just what you see here. Uh, it just looks like it's a lot more moving around. Ricky, I think, is real lucky because the car didn't hit anything solid. He was lucky that it went away from the wall there instead of hitting the wall. And it uh, looks like he's going to be okay. Getting chased. And a bad crash over in turn two. Michael Waldrop has hit the wall hard. The car is upside down. And you can see the car is really torn up. Well, Jerry, I said it's, it's sort of on its side or, boy, he, yes, it is upside down. Michael Walker in his car having hard contact out of turn two. We'll check in to see what's going on. The safety crews over at turn two after this hard contact with the guardrail. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this. Two, Michael Waltrip's car begins to slip and slide on the outside and contacts the concrete wall nearly head on. The car is sawed in half by that concrete barrier there. One of the most spectacular and violent crashes I have ever seen, Ned Jarrett. Jerry, I've been involved in auto racing for more than 30 years, and I don't remember ever seeing a car torn up this much. Earnhardt on the inside and Sterling Marlin outside. And Ernie going with uh, Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to hit. Oh, it got trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt. Front of the field all torn up. Earnhardt's car destroyed. Another angle. Boy, as close as it is. You see Earnhardt's car gets upside down. 
and gets hit there by Boda Ro Ibaya Cole. That's Robert Presley. That's Robert Presley in the 33, got into Earnhardt when he was upside down there. But Cope was the first one, got him in the roof. Derek Cope in that 12 tangled with him as well as it was spinning and crashing. From the in-car camera of Dale Earnhardt at so 190 miles per hour approaching turn one. Sterling Marlin's pictures of this incident. And Sterling, okay after that one. Dale Earnhardt has at least a broken collarbone. Another look. Well, you can see the 28 and the four car touch and the four car gets into the right rear of Earnhardt, shoots him right straight into the wall. Earnhardt's car gets on its roof, gets hit first by Derek Cope, and then the car 33 of Robert Presley comes along and hits him as well. Ankle fractures, and this is how it all happened, Benny Parsons. About the sixth or seventh place, there. There's Jeffrey Bodine, bam, in the outside retaining wall, and watch as he tumbles down the straightaway. Now, again, right, another car's good truck is going to come along and hit him here. Watch and listen. From Jeff Bodine's, Jeffrey Bodine's on board. Listen. One more angle. Then the name of the green car goes down. Hit Kurt Busch go up and they touch the 46 of Rob Morgan and hit the outside retaining ball. Goes Jeffrey Bodine. The truck comes totally apart. You'll see the motor flying off there on the left upper portion of your screen. It ended up about 300 feet further down the track. One more view. Look how high you got. I've been around this sport since 1960 and I've never seen a crash that a, that a vehicle was torn up that bad. So there's Jeffrey Bodine after he was taken out of the truck trying to get the oxygen mask off as he's taken to the ambulance. Benny, just a terrible crash, but all of the safety equipment mandated by NASCAR, the rollover cage, the fireproof equipment, and the catch fence did its job. Thank you.